Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to scrap multimedia data files that is images, videos, document, PPT, some zip files. These kind of multimedia files, we can able to scrap it from the web page. So I'm going to use Beautiful Soup. You can also uh, use Selenium to extract the information from the web page. The flow will be always uh, similar to Beautiful Soup, only the syntax will be changed. You may be using some different functions or XPaths. So that is the only difference. Okay, let's dive into the video. First, we have to import the modules. So import modules. We will use Beautiful Soup. So from BS4 import Beautiful Soup. Now that's done. And after that, we have to import request. So import request. Let's run it. Now we have imported the modules. Now we have to scrap the data. For that, we have to get the page content. Get page content from URL. I'll just change it to capital C. Now, URL equals an empty string. Now, we have to fill this uh, empty string after uh, checking the attributes. And after that, we will just get back to it. If we got the URL, we need to scrap the entire page. So for that, page equals request.get URL. So after giving the URL, you can able to get the whole page content. Now let's go to some website and search for some image URL. So I'm going to use Hindu website, Hindu. Go to it. Now let's go to this news. Now here we got an image. So right click it, click on inspect. So you can able to see the image, right? So this is the image. So it's having the source URL. Let's see whether it is the actual URL. Sometimes it will be different. So copy it and paste it here. See, it's not an actual URL. Uh, if you zoom, it means uh, I think this is like a only one dot. So we have to find the actual URL. So here uh, we have a uh, multiple uh, tags with picture. So if I hover around it means, uh, see, uh, I can able to see the picture. So you have to get this tag and from it, uh, you have to get the source. And in media, we have these things. So let's get one image and uh, check whether it is working or not. So I'll just get this URL and paste it here. See, it's working. So this is our uh, bigger image. So I'll just go for a bigger image itself. Now we have to scrap the data and get this link. That is our objective. Now let's use XPath and check uh, whether uh, our tags will be working fine or not. So Control F. So here inside picture, all the links are there. Inside picture and source. Slash slash picture. Now we got our tag and we have only one picture in this thing. And uh, after that, uh, we have the source tag. Source. So in the source, uh, we have uh, so many uh, sources, like four sources are there. All the things are images uh, of different size. Maybe let's remove this picture and directly use the source. So it's actually able to get the source tag uh, directly. So you can able to uh, see all the things. So what we can able to do is uh, we can able to get the first link itself for the first tag and we will just scrap the link alone. Or else you can also get all the links and uh, scrap the corresponding link what you need. So you can do it in both ways. So now let's copy the URL. We got our image. Now paste the URL here. Run this, run this again. Now let's see the content. Let's display it normally. So we got the response uh, 200, so that is okay. 
let's display the content display page content run this so this is pretty messy right uh, we have to do some uh, formatting so we can able to see the html file properly for that let's use beautiful soup so soup equals beautiful soup of page dot content comma html dot parser now after that print soup dot pretty file run this now we can able to see all the things we have the title and all the metadata is there and if you scroll to all the things means there will be a lot of information there we have to get our information that is the source tag so let's do that now so find the image source link so for that image tag equals soup dot find we need only one link right that's why i'm going to use find if you use find all means it will give you a list of uh, tags that is we have we have seen uh, using xpath there are four tags with the same name source so if you use find means it will just scrap the first uh, source that are available so find specify the tag name that is source so the source doesn't have any class or anything but uh, it has some media but i'll just uh, get the source tag directly so that is our first thing let's display the image tag now we have got our source link as you can able to see so now we have to get this src set that is this url so let's do that now so image tag of src set that is source set run this now we have got our image url here let's store it in a variable so image url equals image tag tag of src set we got our image url now we have to download the image so i'll just go to the separate section so this will be parsing the data parse the data now here download the image from url for that we have to use uh, the request module again i'll just say image equals request dot get image url now this will download the image let's run this so it has downloaded the image now we have to store this image inside a file so for that store the image in file i'll just say with open i'll just say image dot png as wb as file now if it's a big file means you have to write it uh, using some chunks because sometimes uh, if it's like a uh, uh, 500 megabytes or if it's so much bigger file means you have to write it in a sequential manner in terms of chunks in order to avoid uh, any types of error so for that for chunk in image dot iter content now here you have to specify the chunk size that will be 1024 so that is almost 1 kb now we have to write the image so file dot write chunk so this will uh, write our image let's run this i think before running it 
uh, the format is jpg so we will change the format to jpg so jpg run this now let's go to the folder and see whether the image has been written or not yeah we have successfully written the image so this is how you can able to scrap any type of image uh, using this web scrapping and beautiful soup so this is one media type so for a other example uh, i'll just uh, use some uh, links so that is in the page so i have this ppt link let's download this ppt so same thing uh, this is the image so i'll just say ppt equals the url now we'll just copy the same syntax and paste it here and here also we need to do this request i think so for that i'll just paste it here and paste the link directly that will be much better paste it this will be ppt and now we are going to use this uh, pptx format so i'll just say sample dot pptx as file and uh, this will be ppt so we are going to do it in order so this will be download ppt from url so like this you can able to download any type of image if you have the web link alone so you can able to scrap the web link using beautiful soup or selenium and after that you have to get the request so it just download that the ppt file and you have to open some file and uh, store the content now write it let's go to the folder see here we have the sample dot pptx and it has like 32 kb let's try to open it so this is the ppt sample so apart from that uh, i have an audio file i guess okay i have a video file so I'll just use this. Now download download video from URL. The same format we are going to use. So video equals request.get the link now we are going to use the same syntax so let's run this it will take some time to download the video so it took uh, some time than before so it's like a small video now here this is big rabbit dot mp4 i'll just use the same name as it is now this is a bigger file right uh, that's why we are using the chunk size if it's a bigger file means you have to use the chunk size for uh, the previous one the image and the ppt is are all uh, small sizes so it won't cause any problem but for this you have to use like a chunk size let's run this now it has written okay i think i just use the ppt so let's run this again now i think it would uh, save the video see we have got the video around uh, 1 mb let's see it so this is our video so we have uh, scrapped the video successfully so this is it guys so you can able to uh, follow this uh, entire uh, flow for any type of file that you want to download any type of multimedia files it can be a document it can be a zip file anything you just have to go to the page 
get the page content get the url of that particular file and download the file that's easy as it is and i think that's it guys uh, in the next video i'm going to uh, show you how to scrap data from dynamic websites using uh, selenium and if the video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends if it is helpful stay tuned for the next video